Esther 7 is a pivotal chapter as it marks the climax of the story. It's the moment when the tables turn and the enemy of the Jews is exposed and defeated. The chapter begins with Esther's second banquet for King Xerxes and Haman. Esther has already revealed her Jewish identity to the king and pleaded with him to save her people from Haman's evil plan to exterminate them. Esther says in verse 3, If I have found favor with the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my request, I ask that my life and the lives of my people will be spared. However, the king seems completely oblivious to the gravity of the situation and is still unaware of Haman's treachery. In this tense moment, Esther finally reveals the truth to the king, pointing out Haman as the enemy of her people. The king is completely outraged and demands to know how such a thing could have happened. Esther explains that the Jews had been sold into slavery and destruction because of Haman's envy and malice. Now, the turning point of the story comes when the king orders the execution of Haman and Haman's own plot is used against him. Now, from Esther 7, we can learn several lessons that are still relevant today. We see that God is always at work behind the scenes, even when we can't see or understand what's happening. Esther's story, it shows us that God is in control, even when things seem hopeless and uncertain. Listen, we can trust that God is working everything out for our good and for His ultimate glory, even if we don't see it yet. We also see the importance of courage and faithfulness. Esther risked her life by revealing her identity to the king and exposing Haman's plan. Now, she could have remained silent and safe, but she chose to do what was right and stand up for her people. Likewise, we need to be brave and faithful in our own lives, standing up for what is right and just, even when it's difficult or unpopular. Esther 7 reminds us that justice will ultimately be served. Haman's plot was exposed and he was punished for his evil deeds. In the same way, the Bible assures us that God will one day judge the wicked and bring justice to all. We can take comfort in this truth and trust that God will make all things right in the end. Esther 7 is a powerful chapter that teaches us about God's sovereignty, the importance of courage and faithfulness, and the ultimate triumph of justice over evil. May we learn from Esther's example and trust in God's plan for our lives, knowing that He is always at work for our good and for His glory.